we will be talking about place value. So, as you can see, I have the Indian flag right here. And why is that? Well, it's because the history of place value is deeply rooted into Indian mathematicians, such as Aryapata or Brahmagupta. However, the original concept of digits dates back all the way to the Babylonians. Well, let me tell you something. We have 10 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. What happens when we count beyond 9? Well, let me tell you this. Let's say you have a bayberry. Let's say we have one bayberry over here. Cool, right? So zero bayberries, you have nothing. One bayberry would be like this. Two bayberries, you would take this. Or two bayberries. And so on and so on and so on until we get to nine. So that is not what happens when we get, say, Bayberries. How do we represent that numerically? We, uh, we've already used these 10 digits. What comes next? We can't just put another 9. That can't work. We can't just squeeze two digits into one. We can't just squeeze two digits. Uh, well, we can't take 9. We can't make a new valley. Uh, we can't make a new digit. Unless, of course, you're in base 11 or 12 or anything greater than base 10, which we'll talk about later. But rather, what we have to do is make a new place. Now, so far, what I mean by place is not like the regular place. I'm talking about those places. I'm talking about places for digits, not people, digits. And so, them with little boxes. So now, let's say that we took all of these bayberries, put them together, so uh, just like this, and then put them all into a big box. Oh, whoops, wrong color. And so now, in this big box, we can imagine this big box being one group of ten. Ten groups of one can't fit in here. So we need one group of ten. And so, let me just draw these parts. Yeah. And so, now we can imagine this is so a display jumper for how many tens we have. And this as a display for how many ones we have. And so, now we have zero ones because we have zero individual bayberries. All ten of them are packed in a box. And we have one group of 10, which is one box. So let's say boxes are here on individual bayberries. And so now you have these two places. But now what happens when you max everything out once again. So let's say you've been picking for like an hour. You've been this registered. So let's say you've been picking for a long time now. I don't think uh, the, this can withstand so many boxes. So let's just pretend the boxes 
all closed. So now you have so now you have nine boxes. So let me just draw nine boxes. That's five. That's six. That's seven. This will be eight. This is nine. And this is ten. But all of these boxes, each of them contains ten baby. And now, let's say that we have nine individual bay berries as well. And so, now, that means that we take all of this. So, how do we express this? Well, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus, well, these are all nine boxes, so nine groups of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, sorry, this shouldn't be here. So there are nine groups of 10. So we write in the display counter for the 10, a 9. And for the 1, the display counter, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. So, now, what happens when we say, take a bayberry and add it over here? Oh my goodness. Well, now, what we have to do is add another place. Both of these are maxed out. So now, let's say with all of these boxes, all of these bayberries, you have to put these bayberries in one more box. So this, it all becomes another box. And now, you take your 10 boxes and you put them in a big backpack. And then you ask your friend to carry them home for you. And so, now, this big backpack, since it carries 10 of the boxes, that means that it will have 100. individual baby berries left we pack them in the boxes there were no boxes left we packed them in the bag and now there is one bag so this goes on and on and on and on so now this is the example I'm going to use for place value and so this is what place value is now, the concept of place value is pretty is a pretty simple once you get to understand it. Now, let's say so this is one of the key principles. So let's say this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. Ten thousands, the hundred thousands, and so on and so on. But let's deal with these um, one, two, three, four, five, six for now. And so, what we do is we take, say, let's say we have five over here and put zero everywhere else. So now, let's say we 
so we have a five over here. What's its value? Well, this just means five. Like five circles, or five apples, or five lectures on basic math. But, let's say that you have it in the ten instead. Then, that's going to have a different meaning. Since it's five tens, that means five groups of ten. And ten means a group of ten ones. And so, now you're taking five of these. So you have, um, I'll just draw it. One, and this is two, and this is three, and that should be four, and that is five. And so this is fifty. Uh, this is fifty. Five groups of ten. One. Two, three, four, and five. Five groups of ten. And so, its real value is ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Five ten. It's made for fifty. If we put five hundred here, uh, if we put five in the hundreds, please, then we're doing the same thing. makes 500 and same thing over here 1k plus 1k this just makes 5,000 if we put a 5 over here now how do we find a way to break things apart well for me I usually always find a way to break things apart but that's just physically I'm talking about in numbers so, if we have, hmm, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, if we have this number, how can we express it? How can we express it um, by breaking all of the plate value down? Well, that's called expanded form. So, this 9, it has a value of 9. This 8, since it's in the tens place, has 8 tens. So it has a value of 8. Oh, did I forget to mention? Um, basically, um, all countries. So let me just do something for a sec. I have to add that one lonely digit. So basically, um, a little pesky and nifty rule is that all most countries use this in order to figure out which digit is this. A comma. Because it can be pretty hard to discern well, where, uh, which digit is which, where is the hundred thousand, where are the ten thousand, where are the billions, where are the millions, when nothing is separated by a comma. And so, there are these separation marks every three digits that mark everything. And so, now, um, these don't apply for decimals, don't worry. So now, uh, we'll talk about decimals later, but we have... Zero nine eight seven six five four three two one. So, what does this zero mean? Well, zero ones. This nine is in the tenth place, so it's nine ten. So ninety. So ninety plus zero. This eight is in the hundreds, so eight hundred seven. So that means it's in the seven. That means it's seven thousand. Um, let me see. Um, how I can fix this. Seven, so this is seven thousand six, so this is sixty thousand five, so this is five hundred thousand. Let me add the uh, nifty pesky commas four for four million three for thirty million. For two hundred million and one for one billion. And so now 
we could write this in expanded form by saying 1 billion and then plus this is in the 100,000th place. So uh, actually this is in the 100 millionth place. So 200 million plus this is in the 10 millionth place. So three uh, three tens is 30. 30 millions is 30 million. And then for four, four million. Five is in the hundred thousands place. So it's 500,000. Six is in the ten thousands place. So it's 60,000. Seven is in the thousands place. So 7,000. Eight is in the hundreds place. So 800. Nine is in the tens place. So it's 90. There's really zero. And zero is nothing. So now this is our whole equation. And once you add everything up, you will see that it equates to our original number. 1 billion, two, uh, 1 billion, 234,500, wait, 1, 1 billion, 234,567,890. It will all correspond to that. And so, this is place value. And so this is what place value is. I mean, if you place a number somewhere, it changes their value. One more thing I wanted you to know is that when you move something to the left, it, its value gets multiplied by 10. When you move something to the right, I, I can't use the sixes because you know why. So if you move a value to the right, then it gets divided by 10. And so, this is what place value is. 